Hey Vinyl community, how's it going? I have a big haul for you guys today, so I'm going to move through these pretty quickly. I went on vacation to the Pacific Northwest, I mentioned that in my last video, and I went to Portland, Oregon, I went to Eugene, Oregon, and I went to uh, Seattle and Olympia, Washington. So I visited a lot of record stores and I picked up a lot of excellent things. But the first thing I want to do is I want to talk about um, some VCLT that I got. Um, this is uh, a record I got from um, Richard Riley. If you don't know his channel, I'm going to put a link to it in the uh, description so that you can check it out. He's a great guy, um, really knowledgeable about music. He's got a really great collection of stuff, really uh, spans a lot of different genres. And he was kind enough to send me this uh, America Hackman album, which is new. This just came out um, this year. And uh, she's a UK artist, but this was put out in the US. It was put out on Sub Pop. And uh, I, I have a huge list because this year has been really excellent for, for uh, music and I have a huge list of vinyl that I want but because I was saving for vacation and, and stuff I was just picking a few things to get here and there um, but this one had been on my list and I hadn't gotten it and I was kind of bummed that I didn't go ahead and get it um, because it's a great great album so Richard asked me if I had it and I said no and he sent it to me so Thank you so, so much, Richard. This is a great, great album. I've been listening to it a lot since I got home from uh, vacation. Uh, I absolutely love it. I was so excited, too, when I got it that it was the Sub Pop Loser Edition um, because, let me show you, this is a beautiful, beautiful record. Uh, it came on this incredible, kind of almost green-tinted, uh, translucent vinyl with blue and orange splatter and I mean check out those custom center labels right they are excellent very cool I love the vinyl um, the record itself is fantastic I highly recommend it um, really great stuff I'm really excited to see what more she does because I just loved this album and it's getting a lot of uh, attention which I think it should so um, so thank you again uh, Richard I am thinking about what I'm going to send to you, um, something to continue your musical education. So once I figure out what I'm going to send you, uh, you can, you know, I'll let you know and you can be looking out for a package. So thank you so much. I really, really appreciate this. It's a great record. Um, and it was very kind of you. So thank you. Okay. Up next, I'm just going to show you a couple of things that I got outside of my trip. Um, either pre-orders that came in or a couple of other little things. Um, so I'm going to show you those right now. Um, the first one, I ended up getting the score for the Black Mirror episode San Junipero. Um, some people say it's like their best episode. I'm not sure, but the score is really great. Um, so it was kind of a, an 80s themed episode, but the score is kind of minimal. Um, electronic, very good, um, by Clint Mansell. So I went ahead and got it, and they came out on a couple of different versions. You could get the picture disc, or you could get the um, purple or blue vinyl. I went with the picture disc, um, and it's actually really beautiful. So this is what the disc looks like on the front. The B-side is the black and white version, and it's got the, the song uh, Heaven is a Place on Earth is featured heavily in it, so it has uh, some of the lyrics. So that was a cool find. Okay, you know that I love Slater Kinney. One of the things I didn't have and had been looking for was the original, their original first album, which came out on 10 inch um, through Villa Villa Cooler Records, which is which was kind of a short-lived label out of Boston. I have a lot of their stuff. Um, I'm, I love that label a lot. Um, I had always been looking for an original, and usually they just... Um, you know, they come up online and they're really expensive. They aren't in great shape. Um, so I was kind of holding out. I was like, one day I'll get one. And one that was in um, mint condition showed up online for a ridiculously cheap price. And I grabbed it. So I finally got their original release on 10 inch. Very excited about this. Uh, yeah, great addition to my collection. I, you know, this, I can't believe I had such a huge Slater Kinney collection and didn't have this already in it. So this was great. And last but not least, um, I picked up, I actually pre-ordered the new album um, by Filthy Friends, which is a super group composed 
of um, Corin Tucker from Slater Kinney, Peter Buck from REM, um, Kurt Block. Uh, great, great group of people and excellent music. I really dig this album. Um, I was really excited about this coming out and I actually got to see them at their um, first show, which was happening in Eugene, Oregon when I was out there visiting. Um, so that was perfect. And Wimps, one of my favorite groups, opened for them. So it was totally cool. Great show. Um, got to meet Corin for the first time, which was really awesome. Um, she and Peter Buck were running the merch booth. So when I went to buy a poster, um, I had them sign it because they're running the merch. So it's pretty cool. Um, this is out on Kill Rock Stars right now. Excellent. Really nice kind of low-key rock. Um, almost indie rock. I really like it. Um, and it's on this beautiful Coke Bottle Clear uh, vinyl. So definitely check this one out. Um, there are a few songs that are on uh, YouTube that you can check out from the Kill Rock Stars channel. So definitely give this one a listen because it's great music. Really good stuff. Okay, let's go through what I found in uh, the Pacific Northwest. And like I said, I'm going to go through these really fast because I've got a lot. I came home with my DJ bag stuffed. And this time I actually ended up buying a lot more 7 inches than anything else. But I got a lot to show you. So to get started, I actually bought a 5 inch record. I have never seen a 5 inch record before. I don't know this band. It's called Bean Mix. Um, but I decided to go ahead and give it a shot because I thought this is really cool, kind of DIY, uh, seems like a nice little indie release, and I thought I'd give it a shot. It was only a couple bucks, um, so I haven't spun it yet, so this will be a mystery and a surprise, but it's okay. Um, I just thought it was really cool. I, uh, I have never seen a 5-inch record before in the wild. And also, I did not know that they made sleeves for 5-inch records because this came in a sleeve, so... Cool. Okay, so found this 7-inch January Hymn by the Decemberists, one of my favorite bands. Found it sealed. Black Prairie. Black Prairie is a group that I like to refer to as the Decemberists without Colin Malloy, because that's basically what it is. Um, plus some other people, uh, kind of blues, grassy sort of music. Um, and this is one of the first things that I, I picked up from them. So I was happy to get this because they are a Portland, Oregon band. I also picked up this 7 inch. Um, this one's really cool because this is all handmade and what's really awesome is that the 7 inch itself is a lathe cut from a picnic plate. So uh, hand cut is really really flimsy so I'm gonna be careful here but pretty cool right uh, very homemade and DIY and I absolutely love it okay one of the best things about being in the Pacific Northwest is that you can find a lot of great 90s and early 2000s punk uh, DIY indie riot girl stuff um, it's the place to be for it so I found a lot of awesome stuff and I'm really excited about it first up helium got this seven inch it's in mint condition, really excellent find. I got this Bratmobile Live 7 inch, which is pretty cool. Um, I've never seen this one before. And it came on this awesome clear vinyl. Very nice. Heavens to Betsy and Bratmobile. I've been searching for this 7 inch for a long time. Of course, I can find all this stuff online, but I prefer to buy in person. So I finally found a copy in the wild and grabbed it. Team Dresh, great, great 90s band, uh, queer core, excellent stuff. I love them. I only have one 7 inch by Team Dresh, and now I have two. Dear Nora, excellent punk band, or not punk, but indie band out of um, Portland, Oregon in the 90s. Um, and this is the first 7 inch that, well, first album, actually, anything by Dear Nora that I've been able to pick up. So good stuff. Beat Happening. Love Beat Happening. Great band. Uh, they started in the 80s, actually. 
um, and are from K Records, based out of Olympia. Uh, of course, Calvin Johnson, he started K Records. Um, this is a reissue of Indian Summer, which is actually one of my favorite Be Happening songs. And this one was a uh, collaboration between K and Domino Records. So I picked up a copy of this when I was out there. This, I believe, came out in 2015, if I'm not mistaken. And I also got this... Uh, this original Beat Happening 7-inch from the 80s, um, and this is Look Around in That Girl. Um, this one's a little harder to find, so I was really happy to find this one. I got this one at Jackpot Records for a great price. Huggy Bear, another great punk band. Um, this is actually the first uh, piece that I've ever gotten um, by Huggy Bear, an original anyway. I have a uh, re reissue of Bikini Kill and Huggy Bear, um, their joint album, but I don't have anything that's just from Huggy Bear. So this is cool. This one came actually on two different screen printed covers. One was yellow and one was orange. So Satisfact. Um, this I got solely because Lois Maffeo sings on it and I absolutely adore Lois. So this was a good find. Got this one. This was actually the first day I landed, stopped in Olympia to, to uh, Rainy Day Records, which is a great, great record shop, and I uh, got this one. Sarah Dorr. Love her. Uh, this is on K Records. Uh, it's this 7-inch. Um, been looking for this one for a long time, so I was really happy to pick this up. La Tigra. There's my cat. One of my cats. Uh, La Tigra. <laughs> uh, Kathleen Hanna. Love this band. Great stuff. Um, I have a little La Tigra that I found last year when I was in the Pacific Northwest. And this one I found actually it was way up on high on the shelf. Um, it was at Everyday Music in Portland and um, actually in Beaverton, Oregon. And I was um, just about to leave with my stack of records and uh, saw this one and I said, oh, I gotta get that. And it was um, only five bucks. So I'm not sure why it was so high up on a shelf where you couldn't, couldn't reach it, but good find, mint condition. So I found a couple of things that were not Pacific Northwest related, but uh, that I had been looking for for a while. So I picked them up. This one is a Big Thief 7-inch. Um, this is uh, Masterpiece in Dandelion. New Pornographers. Love this one. Play Outrageous Cherry. Love it. Togetherness. And this one's pretty cool. This is a Patti Smith promotional 7-inch. Um, and uh, it's pretty cool because she actually plays a Decemberist song on this. Um, which is neat. And this was to promote a um, new release, her album 12, which was all um, covers of classic songs. And then these two songs on here, um, a Lou Reed song and one written by Colin Malloy, um, were, were like a bonus. So, pretty cool. What are you doing? <laughs> okay, that's it for the 7 inches. Let's dive into the 10 inches. Um, and actually both of these are Decemberists 10 inches. Both of them I got sealed. This one's Flora Songs. This was outtakes, um, or songs that didn't make it in for their most recent album, which, um, is, uh, What a Terrible World, What a Beautiful World. So, been wanting to get this one for a while. Glad I picked this one up. And this 10 inch is Long Live the King, excellent album, um, or EP. So uh, yeah, I was happy to find this one. This one was sealed as well. Okay, and let's dive into those 12 inches. First up, Gossip, NYC. This one uh, was used, okay condition, a lot of sticker residue. I think this one's been sold many times because the sticker was on top of this, but you could see rings of other stickers. We have to get a little uh, goo gone and get that off, but this one's been on the want list for a long time uh, So very happy to pick that up Another gossip album music for men. This was a good find got this one sealed Excellent, and I think that with this one this completes my um, LP collection for gossip they have a lot of um, Singles and EPs and stuff and I do have uh, quite a few of those as well, but um but at least the full-length album collection for Gossip, I believe, is now complete. 
The Decemberists. This one is a live uh, 3LP album. I was so excited to get this. They are amazing live. I saw them uh, back in April. So I was super psyched to pick this one up. And uh, yeah, this one I think is going to go on the turntable today. Pony Time. Pony Time is a great group um, based out of the Pacific Northwest. They broke up like a year ago. I actually went to a record store last year when I was in Portland and they had um, pins, Pony Time pins, and I got a couple of them. They were free. I picked a couple up. One was to promote this album called Rumors 2. And, uh, and then, <sighs> then they announced that they weren't going to be playing anymore. So sad, but I'm glad I got this one. This is Jennifer O'Connor um, here with me. This is an album that I actually had been looking for for a while and hadn't found. And uh, I got this one in Eugene, Oregon. Not exactly the place I would have expected to find it. Nothing related to the Pacific Northwest. She's based out of uh, New York State. But uh, I picked it up. I was happy to find it. So good deal. Corinne Tucker Band. Um, I have her other album that I actually got that in the Pacific Northwest last year. I had still um, been looking for Kill My Blues and I picked this up at Skips Records in Eugene, Oregon and I got it about an hour before I met Corin, which was kind of cool. So it was sort of meant to be, right? Dear Nora, uh, this is the band that I showed you the 7 inch from. Um, they actually released this album called Mountain Rock for the first time on vinyl um, this year. And uh, yeah, it's an excellent, excellent album. So I picked up a copy of this, The Decemberists. Uh, this one's used. This one was uh, one of three different uh, single series. Um, kind of cool uh, jacket on this one. Picked this up at Music Millennium in Portland. An excellent find. I got an original pressing of Quasi's Field Studies from Up Records. Um, this is a 1999 pressing. I was so excited to find this because I have the reissue, but I had never been able to get my hands on an original copy. It's a 2LP um, album, so I was so excited to find this at Exiled Records in Portland. And last but certainly not least, uh, I'm still working on getting all original pressings um, and variants of Slater Kinney's albums. Um, there are two originals for this album called The Woods. One was on black vinyl, one was on green vinyl, green brown vinyl. Um, released in 2005 on Sub Pop Records. I found this copy in beautiful condition um, at Music Millennium used. And what's really interesting is that this album can fetch up to $100 online. Um, it actually is, is usually, usually goes for about $50. Um, and I got this one for $12. So Portland is the place to go because what I found is that their prices are amazing. I didn't overspend on anything. Um, I definitely didn't buy anything that I was like, oh, I could have gotten this for cheaper. Um, I love that about Portland. You can get seven inches that are really <laughs> kind of tough to find for like a buck or two bucks. A lot of the seven inches I showed you were a dollar, two dollars, three dollars. Um, really great prices and that's one of the things that I love about going to the Pacific Northwest. I love that I can find all the things I love so easily um, and that they're great prices and that there's so many records for us to choose from. Um, tried out a couple of new places this time around and um, you know, I, I mean, we were constantly, I felt like we were constantly record shopping and still didn't get to nearly all of the record stores that were available to us. So, um, yeah, it's, I can't wait to go back and continue just, just getting as much stuff as possible. Another thing that's great about the Pacific Northwest, specifically everyday music, uh, which has locations in Portland and Seattle and Beaverton, Oregon, um, is that they have CDs and they have all those great CDs from the 90s. So what I love to do is I love to pick up the CDs so that way I can rip them and uh, listen to them, um, you know, at work and in the car. Um, and I also I like to try to get them to match up with the vinyl that I've got um, that, of course, doesn't have download codes. So, um, so I've got a nice big stack of CDs from Everyday Music too. Ta-da! A lot of this stuff is stuff that, again, is um, specific to the Northwest, although I did um, get a Saddle Creek sampler um, because it's got some Land of Talk and stuff on it. Um, 
but I've got the free to fight comp. Welcome or move into the Villa Villa Coola. Slater Kenny, uh, good stuff on here. A single promo single for the Girls Rock documentary, which is ba which is of a documentary that was made um, about the Girls Rock camp in Portland. A CMJ new music sampler that has Slater Kinney on it. A Slater Kinney single for Get Up that also has By the Time You're 25 and uh, Tapping. A lot of Lois CDs because I love Lois so much. So Lois, 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 <laughs> Lois, and more Lois. And this one never came out on anything but CD. So this is a good one. This is, uh, she played a few different songs of hers with uh, some of her other musician friends. So this is a really great one. So I've been listening to a lot of Lois. <laughs> I also got uh, K Records International Hip Swing. Really great stuff on this one. I mean, you've got Some Velvet Sidewalk, Mecca Normal, Tiger Trap, Beat Happening. Lois, good stuff. Throw, which is another um, yo-yo compilation. This one's really great. Go Team, Heavens to Betsy, uh, Mecha Normal, Bikini Kill, Brownmobile, good stuff. And I got the uh, Kill Rockstars, Rockstars Kill comp. Again, this one's got some really good stuff on it. Uh, the Spinanes, Team Dresh, God is my co-pilot, Free Kitten. Um, all sorts of good stuff. Kathy and Hannah. So, got this one too. So that's it. A lot of stuff. Great trip to uh, the Pacific Northwest. So, um, as I continue to get things, I'll, I'm going to try to make these videos a little bit more regular. Um, I was trying to do that and just have been getting sidetracked. Moving is crazy. Uh, getting ready for vacation has been crazy. So, thanks again, Richard. I really appreciate you sending me the America Hackman uh, album. I love it so much and um, I'm going to figure out something to send to you pretty soon. So um, everyone take care and I will see you next time. Bye!